I actually did start doing some uh, blue sketches over the weekend when I could to do the next two pages, but I have no idea when I'm going to update again. I'm really sorry, guys, but I can't even explain how busy I am right now. It sucks. Um, but yeah, it was, it was just so that I could like make myself better at comic writing and actually finish something <laughs> that I would eventually look back on and say, oh yeah, that was actually worthwhile pursuing because I did once do a Teen Titans comic which just went incredibly downhill and actually killed the fandom for me, which is incredibly tragic. So yeah, part of the aim was to try and do something huge, which it really is, oh my god, this thing is the most epic thing I've ever had to draw. <laughs> try and do something that takes a long time but try to not kill the fandom for me, rather improve it for myself and improve myself at drawing and comic structure. And <clears throat> what made me design Peacock as he is? Well, I wanted him to be vain and pompous and ridiculous, uh, <laughs> but at the same time sort of almost looking cool and debonair, so he does have a sort of a reason to believe he looks fantastic and fabulous. He's got a little bit of David Barry influence in him, and I hadn't realised it before, but he actually looks a tiny bit like Frankie. <laughs> Very, very, very slightly. If you look at how his hair goes whoosh and then whoosh and then, yeah, it goes around there, doesn't it? Why am I asking you? I'm the person who draws it. Anyway, yeah, but um, that wasn't actually intentional, if you were wondering. But yeah, and uh, he does actually look a little bit like one of my tutors, whose um, name I won't repeat in case he ever watches this, although if he ever does, he'll figure out that it is him because he has pretty, pretty hair. He's a bit of a Nancy. Oh dear, I'm gonna get killed for this, never mind. <coughs> ah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to make someone who looks kind of interesting and snobby, but at the same time you really are kind of like, why do you think you look good? Seriously, what? And you'll find out a little bit more about him as we go along, so I won't say too much. Um, oh, it's Sakishi from Florida, USA. Haha, this is a person who said, I am from America. Good. <laughs> Where? <laughs> right, okay, you're from Florida. Ooh, fun, because, yeah, I went there in the summer, and you have a very hot state. Oh, my God, I don't know how you survive over there. I nearly evaporated. It was awesome, but ah, ha, ha. I'm definitely built for the British Isles. <clears throat> Zanji versus the Beatles in a singing battle. Who would win? Well, the Beatles, they would kick his fucking ass. Come on, even Ringo can sing better than Sanji. Ooh, that was harsh to both of them. Now, I love sing uh, Sanji's singing voice because he's so corny and charming. And he does have quite a mellifluous tone to his voice, which is lovely. And if I can cheat and say um, the kid Sanji, who is actually voiced by the same actor as Chopper, but he has this gorgeous song which breaks my heart and it's about... Oh, is it about Old Blue? I can't actually remember, that's terrible. But um, yeah, it's like a kind of a lullaby. One. Uh, it's called Sea Moon, I think. Yeah, I have no memory. Uh, but yeah, that one is really beautiful. But the Beatles would just win. Really, that's the easy one. <laughs> Come on, they're a band! He's an awesome chef who can break your neck by kicking you with like this much effort. But yeah, uh, no, the Beatles would win, definitely. <clears throat> also thoughts on episode 419, you're not gonna let me out of this, are you? Um, yes, I have actually seen it now. Uh, oh my God, lol. <laughs> it was great, it was really great. I loved it. It was, oh, superb, Elizabeth. Oh my gosh, I died. And at the same time, every time he was getting at Elizabeth, I couldn't help but think of that creature from Gintama. I just wanted it to turn around and be her. That would have been the best in-joke ever. But, um... <laughs> no, I I like how they did that. They did it very, very well. Although, his half wasn't as well animated as the chopper bit, which was really good, actually. I like that one, too. But, you know... I don't know, they, think they always seem to save on the animation budget when they get to Sanju's bit, which me and my friends, being animation students, have noticed, especially in one episode where he looks like a brick. And now they forever taunt me by saying, Brick, Sanji! And I'm like, oh, God, go away, guys. And yeah, it sucks sometimes. But I guess they have to save money on some bits because they have some really, really good animation 
especially now they seem to be balancing it out quite well. Like the Robin episode that's just come out, that was actually really nicely animated. They did some quite clever stuff in there. Also, the punch. Oh my gosh, when Luffy punches that dragon guy. Wow. I don't know how long that must have taken to do, but oh, whoa, I was impressed, really impressed. Right, another question. Oh, that's my housemate choking as she comes up the stairs. Uh, Michigan from the US. Pardon? I wasn't choking. No, you weren't. Of course you weren't. You were just <laughs> dying. <laughs> You're on DA, by the way, now. Ha <laughs> ha Sorry. That's Amy. She's lovely. Um, and now freaked out. And I just hit the desk and the camera just went, sorry. My bad. Um, <clears throat> right. From Tessa Markov, who is from Michigan. Let's say you were given control over the world for your birthday. What would you do? Everything. I would do everything. Everything that I previously could not. Did you just... You're a fiend. <laughs> Hello, this is Amy Evans. And this is Doug. This is Doug. Who's awesome. Doug, I have just met you and I love you. Oh, yeah, so you can cool. have Doug for more. Oh, oh, really? Yes. I get Doug. Although he's completely off model. But thank you very, very much. <laughs> yeah. So awesome. He is awesome. Yeah, go and see up. Go and see up. If you haven't seen it already, fools. So, although if you're in America, I'm sure it's out of cinemas now, but if you're in the British Isles, go! Or Europe, I don't know when it's coming out in the other countries in Europe, but yeah, it's so good. Oh, went to see it last week again, on Friday, whenever it came out. Anyway, ah, oh, it made me cry again in all the same places, at least three times. It's so good, and so well animated. Um, yes, control over the world for my birthday. I would... Um, eat chocolate cake for breakfast, I would go skydiving, abseiling, ride canoe over the Niagara Falls with a parachute so I could glide away afterwards rather than crush myself into death at the bottom, <laughs> which is always fun. Um, I would go to the Disney Studios, I would go to the Pixar Studios, I would go to Goblin, all in one day because I ruled the world so I would be able to because I would also demand that someone invent a working and safe teleportation system, all that. Um, yeah, I would do everything that I possibly could. It would be great. And I would stay awake for the entire 24 hours. Although it would be nice to sleep in <laughs> on my birthday, but no, if, if I was given that opportunity, I would be awake at 12.1 a.m. and then be like, do everything. <sighs> And when you're an animation student, sleep really isn't an option, so I'd be good with that. <clears throat> what is my least favourite manga, and why? Well, I don't know, because I haven't uh, read a manga that I don't really like. I mean, if I don't like something, I don't read it. Makes sense? I mean, in that aspect, I suppose, again, D. Grayman is the one I'm having the most difficulty getting into, but it's I don't not like it. I think it's beautiful, and it's got a great idea. Um, but... Yeah, strange question. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, can I have a cookie? Yes, you can have a cookie, if you've got any. Um, I don't actually have any here, so you can't come and visit me and steal some, unfortunately. But you may have an invisible internet cookie. Here it is. There you go. What is my favourite food? Ooh. 